Hello guys, thanks for watching my video today. We are going to discuss the theory of equation. Okay, this is now we have a theorem. Okay, so theorem one the statement states that every polynomial of degree n has n zeros. Okay, I think you know what do you mean by zeros, right? So, zero in other words, meaning every polynomial of degree n has n root we can say n root right oh, yeah or n zeros right so to prove this now let f of x equal to a n x to the n plus a n minus 1 x to the n minus 1 plus and so on so on plus a 1 x plus a naught we are this is a polynomial of degree n okay degree is n i mean the highest power is n okay so from this this is a polynomial of degree n so we are going to find that this polynomial of degree n has n zero okay meaning n root we can say n root also right now uh, be a polynomial of degree n okay this is a polynomial of degree n with leading coefficient of this has got the coefficient a n a n minus one and so on up to a naught right now by fundamental theorem of algebra there is a number alpha 1 say okay rare or imaginary number such that f of alpha 1 is equal to 0 okay now I'm not going to prove the fundamental theorem of algebra okay but let's test this one this is the fundamental theorem of algebra okay so every polymer equation has equation having coefficient complex coefficient and degree greater than or equal to 1 has at least one complex root okay meaning example like x plus 2 is equal to 0 right so this is a polynomial of degree 1 right so degree 1 so if you find out x okay so this is negative 2 right so this is negative 2 so every polynomial equation having complex coefficient and degree greater than or equal to 1 has at least one complex root here also you can say this is a complex root because here the imaginary part will be 0 right so why this fundamental theorem of algebra we state in term of complex because every real number is a complex number okay every real number is a complex number right every real number is complex number example like 3 in terms of complex 3 plus 0 i right so the only thing is the imaginary part is 0 so our fundamental theorem states that every polynomial equation having complex coefficient and degree greater than 1 has at least two complex root at least one complex root i mean right example like this is a degree 1 and for degree 2 degree 3 and degree 4 up to degree and terms okay for this at least one of the root will be a complex root that's what you mean okay so let's come back here now by fundamental theorem of algebra there is a number alpha 1 okay say real or imaginary okay it may be real this alpha 1 may be real or imaginary meaning complex such that f of alpha 1 is 0 meaning this alpha 1 is the root of this or given equation okay or given polymer okay therefore by factor theorem you can check the factor theorem okay so f of x is nothing but x minus alpha 1 okay x minus here x minus alpha 1 and f of x f1 of x okay this is f1 of x okay where f1 of x has a polynomial of degree and minus 1 this is a degree polynomial of degree n okay here this will be f1 of x will be n minus 1 degree with leading coefficient of a n minus 1 okay this term will be how to say in this so this one okay f1 x is a polynomial of degree n minus 1 and that one and this will act this x if we multiply then you get n polynomial right so this is f of x so this one again again by the same theorem 
meaning by fundamental theorem of algebra f1 x will have a zero this let's say alpha 2 okay so the f1 of x this f1 of x is equal to x minus alpha 2 f2 x where f2 x is a polynomial of degree n minus 2 here the here will be degree of n minus 2 will be there okay with leading coefficient of a n minus 2 now proceeding meaning if you do in this proceeding in this manner we get that or f of x is nothing but x minus alpha 1 so x minus alpha 1 and f1 x so f1 x is nothing but x minus alpha 2 f2 x right and so on and x minus alpha 2 and so on up to x minus alpha n okay and we are alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 alpha n are uh, the root of this or given polynomial okay or the root of or given polynomial thus from this we see that f of x has exactly n zeros right that is alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha, and so on to alpha n right this is zeros this is the zeros of this polynomial so we prove that every polynomial of degree n has and zero so this is the proof so you can check the example also take two quadrat quadratic okay and if you find out the root okay the root of that quadratic so after that substitute the root to the given question then you'll get that in is zero okay so polynomial of degree one will have one zeros two degree will have two zeros right and so on so under and and degree we have and zeros, okay? So that's it.